In this video tutorial, I place this polar bear from the Arctic Circle onto a pedestrian crossing in an area west of Sydney. I close this off. We have our GIMP open. Now I go to File and I open. I got the image from the internet, uh, the image of the polar bear. Now we need to cut our polar bear out of the background but the, the image is too much white so we can't use the uh, removing the background with, with fine detail with the other video I made further back so we need to do it another way I right click the image and the image in the uh, layers channel and I need to add an alpha channel now I go to my free select tool and select around the bear now I go within inside the selection of the fur very gently uh, you don't go too close to the edge because we're going to blur it which will give it a furry appearance Otherwise if you go too sharp. It looks just that it looks like a cutout That's been made with a uh, pair of scissors so I'll pause this video so I can uh, go around and show other detail When you come down to the feet area you need to go beyond the feet and Then come back inside and then jump back on inside the fur just slightly back down to the feet and away from the the feet and back again and into the fur area come up very close up around there around his face now the ear I need to jump outside the ear around there around there and click that completes my selection now I go to select and I feather my selection now I feather about uh, 30 and then click OK. I go to select and invert the selection. Because we added an alpha channel, if I hit the delete key it removes the background. And because of our furring effect, we have that effect there where the fur is. So I go back to select and invert that selection again which brings me back to the polar bear then I go to edit and I copy it onto the clipboard now I go to and close it off I don't require it anymore you notice there it's on the clipboard now I go to file and I load the image I took of the uh, crossing or the pedestrian crossing in a western suburb district of Sydney Now I go back to edit and I paste it as a new layer. That places my bear up in the top left hand corner. I go to my move tool and move him onto the area that I want to place him on. Now these animals are quite large. They can they can grow up to a six feet on their standing on their all four feet. So they're quite large. So I need to enlarge my polar bear. I go to the scale tool click on it and then make sure your change connected so you keep your perspective or the image and then just enlarge your image and so you get a reasonably sized polar bear then click scale and then we go to our move tool and just place him on onto the, uh, the the zebra crossing or the pedestrian crossing go to your right right click your image in the layers channel and merge down and that completes our tutorial he's still got that furry look about him and he, he's around about the right size on that zebra crossing or the pedestrian crossing the funny thing about the, uh, the perspective of that image I'll go and undo that so uh, merging down and go back to the top image and just show you what I mean by the perspective I've got my move tool I'm moving back onto the footpath and you can see to our eye he appears a monster but if I move him right across the, the crossing of the road down to the footpath he becomes smaller but in actual fact he's still the same size so thank you for watching and uh, rate the video there is a printout on my web page if you go to the uh, description below 
and click on the link there. It'll take you to the web page where you can get a PDF file on all the steps in this, in this procedure.